It's Saturday, December 28th, and we're here near Canyon Creek in the Southern Whitefish Range near Schuylkill Peak. Behind me, you can see the crown of an avalanche that was reported to us last night by a few skiers. They were on their way out to an area called Oz. They were on the ridge and they looked back and saw a snowmobile trigger this avalanche right here. They also told us that there were four ski tracks on this very slope before the snowmobile had triggered this slope. And if you look over to the slope adjacent to it, there are ski tracks over there where the slope did not avalanche. Now, this avalanche is a great example of the persistent slab that we've been talking about in our advisory for a few weeks now. And even though we may sound like a broken record, it's really, really important to assess each slope and look for this problem. And what we're seeing is a layer of weak snow, sugar snow, these facets, sitting on top of a hard crust that was formed during late November. And in this case, Skiers weren't enough to trigger this slab, but a snowmobiler came up, was able to impact the layer, and get this slope to fail as an avalanche. The crown is about anywhere from one to two and a half feet deep, and it's about 150 to 170 feet wide. So not a huge avalanche, but definitely big enough to ruin your day, bury you, and potentially take you through some high consequence terrain. So again, it's really important to pay attention to this persistent slab and keep it in your mind and not get complacent about it.